Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another Inform player review and we are looking at 81 rated Romelu Lukaku, the big man. And as soon as I saw that he was in this week's uh, team of the week, I wanted to bring him into a side as soon as possible. I'm a fan of his non-inform, so I really wanted to try this one out. And if you want to see another review later on tonight, drop a like and I should get a Shane Long one out as soon as possible. And if you are needing ultimate team coins to afford this guy, head over to FeverUltimateTeamCoins.com. Links below in the description. Use the code Fuji for 20% off or or if you're wishing to purchase actual games, then you can head over to G2A and also use the code on that site for a discount. Right, let's get into it. So I did play Lukaku in a 4-3-1-2 formation and I had Shane Long up top with him doing sort of like a dual review and it was working really, really well. So if you got like some spare coins, definitely build this side if you're in the market for a BPL team. It was amazing, really well balanced. But the stats on Lukaku's informed card, he's got 83 pace, which is actually pretty quick for a guy standing at a height six foot three. He's got 84 shot 70 passing 75 dribbling 35 defense and 84 physical so i played seven games scoring 11 goals and getting one assist now that was sort of an interesting statistic really because when I'm playing with a two out top formation usually the left striker gets the majority of the goals but Lukaku in fact was just scoring and the match rating wise yeah he was playing really really well finishing 86 he's got good heading accuracy he's got a very powerful shot 89 shot feels a little bit more like 95 in game he really does hit them and he's got great strength and he's not slow at all the only real problem is maybe his balance and his agility but he's not really a dribbler he's someone that's sort of throws himself about up top and goes uh, to get himself those goals but he is left footed medium medium work rates he's got the four star weak foot which I actually found really good in game so yeah if you want to pause the actual video and look at his stats in further detail then please do but we want to see what he's like in action let's go so I purchased Lukaku last night for 90,000 coins and he's just going to continue to drop anywhere between like 60 to 90 would actually be a very very good price and what are you going to get from him well he is much improved from his previous version which is the non-informed card and for a guy like standing at height at six foot three, his pace, he's pretty much rapid. Like if you catch the no touch dribble and you're through on goal, your opponent's going to have a hard time sort of pulling him back. And if he's got an eye for goal, he's going to score. He's got a great left foot, cracking shots. And even the right foot, I wouldn't want to say like it's a five star weak foot because I've tried Neymar and I know what that's like. But he has got a very, very good weak foot on him. And I felt comfortable shooting either foot and he was get getting goals. And that's the main thing. If you can score with both feet, then he's going to be one of the per perfect strikers for you because I hate it when you're through on goal and you know that you've got like a predominant foot and yeah you kind of miss chances but with Lukaku it's not going to matter he will find the back in there passing wise as well um, he's he's all right he's like a good link up player I, di I didn't really do too much with him more or less like he was the one making the runs towards goals and that's where 81 positioning in his in-game stats didn't really feel that that was affecting him too much like he was in the right position just to do a one two and he was through on goal and with the height, with the power, his strength, his pace, you're not really going to be able to stop him too much. And he was just like worming his way through using that strength and getting on the ends of it. But yeah, his agility, his balance, you don't really tend to notice too much with his balance just because he's so strong. But dribbling and agility wise, he's not a dribbler. So don't try and do too much with that. But yeah, he can do the odd ball roll here and there. But yeah, overall, really, really did like the card. And he's a great finisher. And for 60 to 90,000 coins, he is well worth it. Much improved from the non inform. And I highly recommend trying him out. So overall, I'm going to give Lukaku a, a 9 out of 10. Without a doubt, just the dribbling sort of affects the card for me. But 9 out of 10. And yeah, overall, he is well worth the coin. So maybe. Be sure to try him out drop a like on the video and i will get uh, the shane long review um out later on tonight as soon as possible so yeah thanks ever so much for watching and i'll see you then team out Please.